let's talk about the force on a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field we know that from the lorentz force if a charged particle is projected in a magnetic field it experiences force and this force is equal to qvb sin theta so force on charged particle is equal to q times v b sin theta now for any conductor suppose this is the conductor in which n number of charges are there length of the conductor b l and n represents the number of charged particles per unit volume and current is passing through this one we also have derived i is equal to n e a v d this drift velocity okay these facts we are going to use now in place of this q i should have written n times q capital n times q so force on a conductor placed in magnetic field should be n times as the charged particles are electrons only i can write n e v b sin theta simply i have taken this equation and i have written in place of q as there are n charges this small n i mean this capital n can be written as n times volume times e v b sin theta now this is n a times l because the volume is nothing but area times of length v b sin theta now this n e a v that is nothing but i so it take this l outside l times n e a v and then b sin theta so now this can be written as i so i l b sin theta or b i l sin theta so this is the expression for force experienced by the conductor when it is placed in magnetic field suppose if the force on conductor would be maximum when the conductor is placed right angles to the magnetic field in that case the f max will be b i and length of the conductor so here this tells us if more is the magnetic field more is the current more is the length of the conductor the force experienced by it is also more if more is the length of the conductor obviously that it will have large number of charges so then automatically q by t current this that is also reason for it okay so if you are increasing the magnetic field then the force experienced by it will also be increased now the question comes when we talk about force you should be discussing both the magnitude and direction so how does it move so this can be explained with the fleming's left hand rule suppose if in this 
I have stretched three fingers. This is my forefinger. This is my middle finger and then this is thumb. So forefinger is indicating field. F for forefinger, F for field. If the magnetic field is in this direction, if the current carrying ca conductor, because current is in this direction, current means again my intention is conventional direction of the current. So I is in this direction that is positive to negative. I is in this direction then it will be moved up. Suppose if I change the magnetic field or I change the uh, direction of this current passing through the wire then everything will be if both are changed of course it is again coming to the top but if one of the two things is changed then we see that the force experienced by the conductor will be in opposite direction let's demonstrate this one and then we will discuss the remaining parts of the lesson in this demonstration i would like to show you the force experienced by the current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field so here this this is a conductor okay now this is placed between two magnets so now when i allow the current to pass through this one then it will experience some force and it will be moved you can see that it is moved that side so now i have allowed a potential difference is 2 volt if i keep it 4 volt then you will see that the deflection will be more this is a 2 volt this is a 4 volt now you can find out in which direction it moves whether it goes inward or it comes outward so now I have connected this positive terminal and this negative terminal therefore the current passing through this is in this direction so from your left to your right so now to find the direction of the motion I have to use Fleming left hand rule so this is my left hand rule I have to keep the magnetic field in the direction of the magnetic field this forefinger now I have to open my middle finger in such a way where the current is there so now you can see my thumb that it is pointing away from you ok so in that way I can find the direction of the motion now suppose if I change the polarity then what happens I am sending the current in this direction now the wire should be moved towards you let us observe that so it has come towards you now again I will keep 4 volt potential difference so that the deflection is also more so